I'm gonna show you how I made a pop hit over Zoom utilizing splice samples. Let's get into it. Ladies and germs, it's your boy Lusion. Thank you Splice for giving me this opportunity to come and talk to y'all. For those who don't know, I'm an artist producer signed with Republic Records. Been making beats for years now, but got my jump two years ago on TikTok, and it's been a beautiful wave ever since. You may have seen some of my viral remixes here on YouTube or TikTok or anywhere, but most importantly, I've been using Splice for a solid four years now, and I don't know if I'd be where I'm at without them. Now with backstory out of the way, in this video I want to break down my brand new song After the Tone featuring pop sensation Upsaw. And we're just going to break down the song, show you how I utilize splice samples, and just overall show you how you can make a simplistic song feeling full using splice samples. Let's get into it. So I'm going to play a little bit of the song. Leave a message after the tone. So it was me, Upsaw, Max Frost, all in a Zoom studio session. This was my very first Zoom session and I was nervous as shit. and it came out fantastic. Again, I just want to highlight, I don't think the session would have gone as smooth as it did if it wasn't for the beauty of Splice, which I'm extremely excited to show you guys the samples that I use. So right off the bat, going into the session, I knew Upsaw really strives over like bass driven, hard drum, funky type of beats. There's a simple bass line driving the whole song. That's the meat and potatoes of it that Max laid down. So I have four drum sounds, they're all from Splice. I got this from the Vibes 5 R&B pack, the John Cassie, the boot kick. I really liked it just because I wanted something that sounded like a hi-hat or something was on top of the kick, just to give it some personality rather than just like a deep, low cut kick. The next drum sample is from the Oliver pack, the Power Tools 2 pack. I know me and everyone else in the universe uses this pack religiously. I mean, it's very rare I don't use one of these sounds from that pack in any production. Even though the sample is a loop, I really just like the tone of the hi-hats. So I just chopped it up and just picked this one. Thought it was perfect. And then I got two claps from LaKim's Nightfall pack. I wanted like a really close tone clap, like, like that. And then just like a regular sounding one. That's it for the drums. So I laid down this drum pattern. Anytime I do a funk style track, guitar riffs and pickup stuff, and it's always necessary. And because Splice makes it so easy to find guitar riffs or any other types of guitars I was able to find, I kind of just let the bass and drums loop while I just went through a ton of different guitar riffs to see if any of them stuck. And and it actually took me a really long time to find like the perfect guitar sound, but thank God for Jafunk and his Future Funk Volume 3 pack, I was able to find this simple guitar riff. That's it, just that one bar loop and it paired beautifully with this. Fortunately, working with a talented artist like Upsaw, she was able to do a lot with that. So as the producer in the session, I kind of took it upon myself to realize, okay, let me form sounds and arrangements going based off what she's saying. So this is where the fun magic part comes in. So since the whole song is referred to after the tone, voicemail, cell phones, all this stuff, I'm like, okay, it's been done a lot, but we're gonna do it in a very organic way. So easy enough, went on Splice, searched up cell phone. Sure enough, there's a pack called cell phone. Every cell phone sound effect you can imagine was there. And I was really just able to like play around with them, have fun, download them, arrange them how I like. So with the intro like this. She goes after the beep. After the beep, out of service, down your black bay. I use the same sounds a bit. That was one of my favorite ones, like hanging up, like done. This one was ill. I was able to use it as far as like a triplet cadence. On the road, so no, I never check my phone. Bring it, bring it in my head. Crazy. So getting away from sound effects, going back to actual instruments, this part where she goes ringin', ringin' in my head. She goes ringin', ringin' in my head. Again, very meshing with cell phones and everything, but I was just picturing a mallet instrument. I tried my kalimba, tried a xylophone, tried all these things, and I just wasn't getting the tone that I was looking for. But because how fantastic splices, I came across like a video game sample pack called Advanced UI and found this cute bell sound. And that was exactly the tone I was looking for. Put that in the MIDI, and I just followed the melody that Upsol was singing. Bring it, bring it in my head. Sounds like this soloed. 
And that happens to me like all the time whenever I'm making music with Splice. I'll find stuff and utilize it that I don't think it was really intended for. So don't judge a book by its cover. There's more than meets the eye. More, more to meets, more, there's more to meets the eye. <laughs> So yeah, there's a couple other, you know, bells and whistles and trinkets and whatnot, but uh, that was pretty much it. It's the meat and potatoes of it. But yeah, I hope this video really helped you guys understand that this whole song is bass, drums, and a tiny bit of guitar. That's about it. And because of the really small Easter egg type of sound effects that are in there that I all got from Splice, in my opinion, it turned it into a hit song. And there you have it. That is the breakdown of my new song, After the Tone, featuring Upsol. So I hope you all enjoyed that. Hope you learned a thing or two. If you want to check out the samples yourself, there's a link down below. And I provided all the samples in a nice, pretty little package. As well as another link of all my favorite Splice samples over the years. And while you're down there, go check out my channel. You'll see more videos like this. As well as a podcast I started with my wife, interviewing all of our favorite artists and creators that we have become great friends with over the course of time. But most importantly, go stream after the tone. Spotify, Apple Music, anywhere you like. And that's about it. Thank you again, Splice. And I'll catch y'all next time. Peace. Yeah.